Hello everyone, my name is Drake Luigi. Welcome back to Let's Play Undertale. In the last episode, I was incredibly short, my butt was completely ruined. <laughs> so in this episode, I'm going to do the thing that I probably should have done in Let's Get the Spider Cider, because I think that might actually help me in my endeavors. <laughs> I remember buying it for that particular reason. I thought, eh, oh, since I bought it, so good. I, nope, 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 fucking Miss Muffet's already gone. Spider bike sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. Yeah, well, Miss Muffet can go and suck a big fat bollocks. <laughs> oh. Regardless, alright. I'm gonna be able to just go to left one, I think, and I'll be able to get to my freaking lockbox. Because I need that spider cider, and plus, I need to get more food items. <laughs> She is powerful, and I don't want that to happen. Freaking, it's a pain in my butt. There's the save, and then the left to the right, so over here to the left, and there's the guy who wanted to get a drink. Can I actually get another cup of water? It's a water cooler. Take a cup of water? Sure. You take a cup of water. You're just carrying that around to look sophisticated? Because it's not working. Oh, pfft. That's a first. I can't actually carry... I can't actually drink the cup of water. I thought I could cup of water returned to the water cooler. Wait, what? Now how in the world did it do that? I have no clue. That uh, confuses me. And I just realized one thing. I could probably actually just take the boat to Snowden and actually get my items there. Whoops! <laughs> Freaking... Fudge! Hello, boat woman. Tra -la -la. Care for a ride? Yes, I would like to ride in the boat. Where will we go today? Snowden. Then we're off! Oh! Here comes Boat Dodge. Hey, <laughs> Boat Dodge. Gosh dang, this boat can actually run pretty dang quick. Tra la la! Dancing on a boat is danger, but good exercise. <laughs> Wait, it's danger, but good exercise. English, please. Alright, back at Snowden. Come again sometime. Tra la la. Oh, I will. Do 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 do. What happens? Ah, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, my patience rewards me. Ah, come on, answer the goddamn door. <laughs> Actually, one thing I didn't try to do. I never tried to call. Wait, what? Snout in. Home of Papyrus. That's the slogan, right? <laughs> you wish. I'm confused. Dimensional box A. Are you kidding me? I didn't know Alphys actually upgraded my phone to where I could access the box at any given moment. Oh my god! Why? Son of a... Biscuit! Crap on a cracker! <laughs> Why, 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 well, it doesn't matter. Yes, hello, I'll buy frickin' cinnamon. Alright. Now that I actually know that I can freaking enter my boxes at any given part, at any given moment. Wait, I just noticed, though, it said... A and B. Oh! Now I have two boxes. Mm, wow. Well. <laughs> uh, try calling Toriel. Ah! Toriel, come on, pick up! I need my goat mummy. <laughs> Alright. Off we go back to freaking Miss Muffet. I'll just cut this here so that way you guys don't get bored watching this. There we go. Hold on. Tra la la. I heard Asgore has a favorite food. Oh, you didn't even tell me more. Pfft, screw you. <laughs> so I have a feeling. I have a feeling that's why I have to keep the pie. All right, come again, Sir Tantra. La la. Yes, I will. I'll come again at some point or another. I'm gonna go ahead and save here. Seems such a strange flower jar in a place like this. It is serious determination. Yes, la di da di da di da. I don't care, really care. Right now, I just care about getting past Spider Woman. <laughs> so please select the location. Left room three. This is the most, I'd have to say, this is the oddest elevator. <laughs> Alright, 
Back to freaking Miss Muffet. Mm, she's gone. It's a spider donut. Uh, looks more rubbery than usual. Yo, know, that guy's just like, oh! Alright, off we go. Oh, good grief almighty. This time, though, I'm making sure that the video ain't freaking only 30 minutes long. I'm gonna get some progress done in these videos, god dang it. Alright. Oh, did you hear what they just said? They said human wearing a striped shirt will come through. I heard that they hate spiders. I heard that they love to stomp on them. I heard that they like to tear their legs off. That's actually not true. All the people who are arachnophobics, which I actually am a tiny bit, but I don't not the good grief. I heard. Oh. Heaven above I must muffet that they're awfully stingy with their money. Oh <laughs> you think you're I think your taste is too refined for pastries, don't you, dearie? Oh <laughs> I disagree with that notion. I think your taste is exactly what this next batch needs. Yeah, yeah, giggle all you want. Now, I do have the spider cider. Uh, hopefully that does help. Struggle. Struggle to escape the web. Muffet covers her mouth and giggles at you. Don't look so blue, my dearie. Yeah, this is where she turns me purple. God darn it, Muffet! I think purple is a better look on you. <laughs> Okay, 10 gold. This is her attack for this turn. Why it's so pale? You should be proud. Yeah, well, your freaking little spider friends aren't helping. Struggle! You struggle to escape the web. Off it laughs and claps her hands. Proud that you're going to make a delicious cake. Yeep! Good grief! Timing is not of the essence, but oh well, I got it anyway. All the spiders clap along to the music. You struggle to escape the web. Muffet is so amused by your antics that she gives you discount. Let you go, don't be silly. Oh la 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 la. Okay. Cha la la. <laughs> Help me here. Right, what's next? Spider donuts. <laughs> Tidy up, tidies up the web around you. Okay, 20G. This is attack for this turn. Our soul is going to be every spider very happy. No, I don't want to get hit by the donuts or the spiders. Oh no, her freaking pet muffin. You're paying sixty dollars for take this turn. Oh how rude of me. I almost forgot to introduce you to my pet. It's breakfast time, isn't it? Have fun you two. Oh god, my head's off the keyboard. God dang it. Itchy nose. Okay, this is simple enough to dodge. I gotta worry about that big beluga. Woo! I nearly dodged everything right there. I traded a 30 gold. Oh, well, I can earn money. This is your attack for this turn. This person warned us about you. Come on. Be nice to me, Buffett. Please. Just struggle. You struggle to get the web. Nothing happened. I brought us a lot of money for your soul. Yeah, well, I just gave you a freaking absolute metric crap ton of money. Ow! Okay, I'm gonna use the spider cider. Drink the spider cider. HP was maxed out. Huh? Where'd you get that? Did you steal it? Oh, my pet. It's time to show them what we do with thieves. Huh? A telegram from the spiders in the ruins. What? They're saying that they saw you and... You helped donate to their cause. Oh my, this has all been a big misunderstanding. I thought you were someone that hated spiders. The person who asked us for that soul. They must have been a different human in a striped shirt. Sorry for that trouble. <laughs> I'll make it up to you. You can come back here anytime. And for no charge at all. I'll wrap you up and let you play with my pet again. <laughs> Just kidding. I'll spare you for now. Oh, thank God. Just using the spider cider seemed to freaking make her happy. <laughs> that was fun. See you again, dearie. Bye bye, Muffet. Get the heck out of here. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh, I wasted like all my money, but I don't care. Freaking, it saved me. What's this? It's a poster for Metaton's latest stage performance. A tragic tale of two star cross lovers, kept apart by the tides of fate. 
Looks like it's almost time for the performance. If I'm going to be part of that performance, I'm going to cry. Oh, that's you, man. Pardon me? Oh. Could it be? <laughs> what in the world is he wearing? I want true love. I am not your true love, you freaking robotic bugger. <laughs> Seriously, picky. <laughs> why? <laughs> why? 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 No, go back off, you freaking metallic freaking robotic mother effer. <laughs> Are you serious? Is it singing? Yeah, it's singing. I can't leave yet. But I can't move. I like the tune of it, though. What in the world? <laughs> in the oh my good By the way, I'm not singing this. I am not a singer. <laughs> It'll suck. You'll die a lot. <laughs> At least you're foreboding with me. Good. Just keep dodging around you. Cause I don't know if I touch you, something's gonna. Run. In all honesty, again, it sounds pretty good. Oh, is that shooting star in the background? So sad. So sad that you are going to the dungeon. Oh. Well, doodles. Wait, what the? Oh, I hate you! <laughs> Mala! Ah! Oh no, whatever shall I do? White love has been cast away into the dungeon. A dungeon with a puzzle so dastardly, my paramour will surely perish. Oh no, not this. Oh heavens have mercy, that horrible colored dial maze. Each colored dial has its own sadistic function. For example, a green tile sounds a noise, and then you must fight a monster. Red tiles will actually wait a second. Didn't we see this puzzle about a hundred rooms ago? Actually, yeah, back with freaking papyrus. <laughs> That's right, you remember all the rules, don't you? Great, then I won't waste your time repeating them. Yeah, I remember them. Oh, and you'd better hurry. Because if you don't get through in 30 seconds... Mother effort. You'll be incinerated by these jets of fire. Ah ha 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 love, I'm so filled with grief. I can't stop laughing. That's not grief! Good luck, darling. Run. Have a good grief. He's still singing! Ah, Chucky. I can't move. I can't get out. Crap. Oh, I'm sorry. Looks like you're out of time. Oh, bollocks. Here come the flames, darling. They're closing in. I can see that. Getting closer. Oh, bye. Alphys, this would be a good time to help me. Any minute now. Eep. <laughs> Watch out! I'll save you. I'm hacking into the firewall right now. Oh, oh firewall! <laughs> I get the joke. Gosh dang it, Undertale! You're gonna make me a pun master yet. Oh no! How could this happen? Foiled again by the brilliant Doctor Alphys. Yeah, do us a favor, you freaking robotic cross-dressing mother ever. Go away. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Come on, Metaton. Give up already. You'll never be able to defeat us. Not as long as we work together. Your puzzle's over. Now go home and leave us alone. Puzzle over. Alphys, darling, what are you talking about? Did you forget what the green tiles do? They make a sound. Then you have to fight a monster. And I stepped on like 30 green tiles. Well, darling, that monster is me. Mother. It's on attack 30, defense 255. What the frick? His metal body still renders him invulnerable to attack. This is it, darling. Say goodbye. Is that your phone? You'd better answer it. Hey, this seems bad. 
don't worry. There. There's one last thing I installed on your phone. You see that yellow button? Go to the act... When you press it. You press the yellow button. The phone is resonating with Metaton's presence. This is it, darling. Say goodbye. What? In the world, my heart went upside down. I'm yellow! Now press E! Oh my gosh! Shoot Metaton in the face! Oh. Oh! You've defeated me! How can this be? You were stronger than I thought, etc. <laughs> Later. <laughs> Quick a grief. L looks like you beat him. Y you did a really great job out there. All thanks to you. <laughs> All thanks to you, or da 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 I'll just say all thanks to you. What? Oh no, I mean, you were the one doing everything cool. I just wrote some silly programs for your phone. Um, hey, this might sound strange, but c can I tell you something? But before I met you, I d didn't really, I didn't really like myself very much. For a long time, I f felt that a to like a total screw up. Me and her have a lot more common than I thought. Like I couldn't do anything without without any up letting everyone down. But but guiding you has made me feel a lot better about myself. So, so thanks for letting me help you. Uh, anyway, we're almost to the core. It's just past the MTT Resort. Come on, let's finish this. Like yeah. Oh my God, this this place would have been near. Oh, I could see if you actually did make it to the end somehow. You can actually just wind your way around. I wonder if you can actually... Oh, hey, it's Nice Cream Guy and the two uh, royal guys. Hey, it's you again. Business is excellent here. These two fellows bought all my ice cream. I've actually sold out of everything. Sorry. Wait, I still got something for you. A big smile. How about that? Oh, you pain in my freaking rear. Oh, hey, Zads. There's a note. Hey, go up the creepy alleyway on the right for some great deals. I'm going to talk to Sans first. Hey, I heard you going to the cool. How about grabbing some dinner with me first? Sure. Great. Thanks for treating me. But, but it's just right there. Over here. I know a shortcut. Oh my good grief. Really? In the alleyway. Huh. Well, here we are. So, your journey's almost over, huh? You must really want to go home. Hey, I know the feeling, buddo. Though... Maybe sometimes it's better to take what's given to you. Down here, you've or you've got already got food, drink, friends. It's what you've had to do. Really worth it. Oh dear. Ah, forget it. I'm rooting for you, kid. Hey, let me tell you a story. So I'm a sentry in Snowden Forest, right? I sit out there, watch for humans. It's kind of boring. Fortunately, deep in the forest, there's this huge locked door. Is he talking about? Is he talking about the ruins? And this per and it's perfect for practicing knock knock jokes. <laughs> oh god! So one day, I'm knocking him out like usual. I knock on the door and say knock knock, and suddenly, from the other side, I hear a woman's voice. Who's there? <laughs> so naturally, I respond, dishes. Dishes who? This is a very fat joke. <laughs> and she just howls with laughter. Like it's the best joke she's heard in a hundred years. So I keep him coming, and she keeps laughing. She's the best audience I've ever had. Then, after a dozen of them, she knocks and says, Knock, knock. I say, who's there? Old lady. Old lady who? <clears throat> oh. <laughs> oh, I did not know you could yodel. <laughs> wow. Needless to say, this woman was extremely good. <laughs> I can tell she hangs out with you. We kept telling each other jokes for hours. I'm pretty sure he's talking about Toriel, because the door never opens... Like, it opens from the inside, doesn't open from the outside, so I guess that must be Toriel that's, like, sitting out there and helping. Eventually, I had to leave. Papyrus gets kind of cranky without his bedtime story. <laughs> okay, who's the big brother, who's the little brother? I'm going to assume at this point, Sans, that you're the big brother. <laughs> But she told me to come by again, so I did. Then I did again, and again. It's a thing now. Telling bad jokes through the door. It rules. <laughs> Aw. One day, though, I noticed she wasn't laughing very much. I asked her what was up. 
that she told me something strange. If a human ever comes through this door, could you please, please promise something? Watch over them and protect them, will you not? Now, I hate making promises, and this woman, I don't even know her name, but someone who sincerely likes bad jokes has an integrity you can't say no to. Nope. Do you get what I'm saying? That promise I made to her. You know what would have happened if she hadn't said anything? Buddy. Oh god. You'd be dead where you stand. Oh god, science, please. Hey, lighten up, bucko. I'm just joking with you. Besides, haven't I done a great job protecting you? I mean, look at yourself. You haven't died a single time. <laughs> Sans, have you not seen my safe files? <laughs> hey, what's that look supposed to mean? Am I wrong? Yeah, you're pretty much wrong. Hey. <laughs> oh, see ya, Sans. What in the world? Well, that's all. Take care of yourself, kid. Because someone really cares about you. Aw. Toriel actually wanted to help us. She, I guess she was, she either knew that we were going to go through here, or something else. It's a wall of fame full of quotes and photos from visiting celebrities. The food is to die for, gorgeous style and fragrance. My face tastes beautiful. These are all Metaton. Hmm. Oh my gosh, yeah. All the tables are literally Metaton's face. Some kind of TV show featuring Metaton. <laughs> Originally, we dug mazes with puzzles in order to foil human attacks. But now, building things... Winding and fusing. It's awful. It's some awful tradition. You can't go through uh, two feet without being up to your armpits in puzzles. Okay. Uh, so flake? So Drake? <laughs> Snowflake. I just flaked out. I'm the resort comedian. I'm very funny. People laugh at my jokes. Now, my son, he wants to be a comedian like his father. But his jokes are funny. He tells these awful puns. He's an embarrassment to our family. Ha 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 ha. That's not funny. Since his, mo since his mother passed on, he couldn't stand living at home anymore. So he ran away. I haven't seen him since. I'm a terrible father. Ha ha ha. That's not funny. <laughs> okay, so that I guess that's no Drake's father. Oh my god. I'm gonna dodge you, because you look creepy. Um. Oh dear. The relaxing atmosphere at this hotel. It fills you with determination. I'm gonna go ahead and save. Oh, hello. Welcome to MTT Resort, Hotlands Fixed Apartment Building Turned Hotel. Whether you're here for a night or still live here, MTT Resort prides itself on a great stay. Just passing through? Nice. MTT Resort prides itself on being passed through. <laughs> My good grief. What in the world? So, we have Mysterious Eyeball. What appears to be a dragon trying to get someone on a cell phone, and then... I have no idea what you are. This elevator goes straight to the capital. But it stopped working. The hotel's doing its best to accommodate everybody stuck here. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna dodge you, because you look creepy. <laughs> Good grief. What's over here? Oh, like rooms. Well, I don't think I need to stay here. I just saved, so... Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna test my luck and see what the heck is down here. Oh, hello. Hey, check it out. Yeah, check it out. Oh my good grief. Drunk food. It has a big bite out of it. Empty gun. Oh, what about bullets not included? Cowboy hat. I good grief, this thing is freaking amazing. But I don't have enough money. And mystery key. Probably to someone's house. I don't have enough money. Okay. Well, I'm assuming I don't need... What in the world? It's just a regular wall. That doesn't explain how in the world we freaking got inside through the sideway. Sans, you confuse me. Well, it looks like we can't really do anything with the resort, so let's go to the right. Oh. Hey. Hey, hey. Did you remember my name? Did you? Hey, yep. What? <laughs> you remember? How could I be so easily defeated? <laughs> His face. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, but that face is just too darn cute. <laughs> it's like a location. So, okay, so now I finally found right floor 3 and oh. Sounded like I broke the elevator for a minute. That would not have been good. Well, those guys definitely got some ice cream. Oh, now we're back here. Can I go up? No. Nope. Wait, what am I supposed to do? Am I actually supposed to do something over here with the MTT place? Hmm. I have no clue. Maybe there's a door over here somewhere. Oh dear. Who are you? As I came in, I realized I forgot to make a reservation. But I didn't want to look like I messed up. So I kept walking in anyway. Now I'm just kind of consuming dew off this ficus. Oh dear. So basically he has to, I guess, reserve... He's tried to reserve a table, but he didn't get it right. Whoops. That big guy is creepy. So... But, oh my god. Hello. Welcome to MTT Brand Burger Emporium. Home with the Glen Burger. Sparkle up your day. DM. Starfay. Very popular food. How much is it? 60? Yeesh. Steak of the shape of Metaton's face. <laughs> Er oh my god! <laughs> Stop! Uh, ah! That's so creepy! Pixie, have a fab, you full day! Oh my god, no, 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 no. Go away! <laughs> ah! <laughs> no, get out of there! Get out of there! That's creepy! Oh. There's the way I'm supposed to go. Whoops. Oh. Huh? Who are they? <laughs> Nobody else is supposed to be here. Oh well. We can't worry about that now. Alright, well, Alphys, forward, on to dawn. The core. Oh my good grief. Re ready? This is it. Take the elevator up to the top of the core. Where's someone explore around? H hey, why don't you try to use the elevator first? W watch out! Oh god. Ma magic pops out of its hat. Oh my god. Magic. 29, 24, this magical mercenary only says magic words. Alakazam! Oh god. Oh my lord, I'm being attacked by crosses. Ow! Flaunts his orbs in a menacing manner. What happens if we stare at the chaser orb? I don't really like the chaser orb, it was weakened by your glare. Tinkle, tinkle, hoy. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Whoa, you freaking boomerang mother effing orbs. No, go away. And then let's uh, stare at the corner orb. Intimidating corner orb was weakened by your glare. Please and thank you. Those aren't magic words. That's just literally please and thank you. Oh god. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I can spare him. Good. But that was close. Why are you that? Why are there so many monsters here? I mean, it's no problem, right? We just got to keep our keep heading forward. Oh dear. She seems to be a bit distraught. Okay, we'll just try this. The elevator isn't working. What? The elevator should be working. Well then, go to the right and keep heading up. Well, I went left first. I guess right doesn't really matter. Well, where did this pit come from? You should be able to walk across here. Nope. There's just a bunch of fire. Alright, so this way, gotta go left. Hmm, excuse me. Looks like you can't proceed until you hit the switch. But, but those lasers will activate when you do. Um, looks like they'll come in this order. Orange, orange, blue. Okay, got it? Move until the third one. Okay. Ow, who fucked me? You lied, Alphys! <laughs> I need to actually use something. My health is already low. Um, get this in a minute. Your HP was maxed out. Oh my God! Are you okay? I, I'm sorry. Gave you, I gave you the wrong order. Everything's fine. Okay. Let's just keep heading to the right. Okay. La, la, da, da. A crossroads. Uh, uh. Tr try heading to the right. Oh, for heaven's sake. 
Whoa! Night Knight blocks the way. Oh god. He looks absolutely menacing. Night Knight. Attack 36, defense 36. This, me this megaton mercenary wields the good morning star. Adieu. Oh, hello. What the? Whoa! 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 Oh, I get it. <laughs> night, night. Gotta go to sleep. And the good morning star. Close your eyes. Oh, now it's night time. What in the world? Oi! Oi, 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 Keep singing. Yeah, he fell asleep. <sighs> okay, so we spare him and leave. <laughs> 70 gold, can I? Uh, are you okay? Why didn't you head to the right? C come on. You could, you trust me, don't you? Alright. I'll, I'll the peace office. When she says to go, I'll go. M m more lasers. Okay, I, I won't miss around this time. I'll just deactivate the lasers and let you through. They're, they're not turning off. I can't turn them off. I, it's okay. I have this under control. I'm going to turn off the p power for the whole node. Then you can walk across. Okay, go. Wait, stop. Oh dear. The the power. It's turning itself back on. D damn it. But this isn't supposed to. I, I'm going to turn it off again. When it turns off, move a little. And then stop. Okay? Y you won't get hurt. Oh god. Good grief. What does this run on? A Duracell battery? Woo! Just see? I've got everything under control. Everything's under control. Okay. Good, Alphys. Do us a favor. Oh god. Okay. Y you should. You should. I don't know. This doesn't look like my map at all. I'm sorry, I, I, I have to go. Oh dear. Office, please. Smell the smell of ozone. It fills you determination. Good. But all right. Uh, um, let's head up. I guess it's the only logical way. And then right. Oh, well, I can't go that way. Oh, he's blocked off. Let's go up here. What the world? There's 100 gold inside the trash can. Will you take it? Oh, heck yeah, take it. You get 100 gold. Heck yeah, just got a free 100 gold from a trash can. Oh my lord, that is the best I think I could have, that could have happened. Right. Whoa! Whims a lot and Final Frog it appeared. Oh my good grief, these guys... I've never... Oh, I remember Whimsum and Frog it. Well, Frog it's easy to remember, but freaking Whimsum's right there and he's covered in crap. Whims a lot. Uh, check. Whims a lot. 34, 12. Good grief, it finally stopped worrying. No regrets. Woof. <laughs> Frogget, you're not a dog! Ow! 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 Let's, uh... Let's pray. I don't know. You don't pray for safety. So I remembers its conscience. There's still hope. Rob it. Rob it. Ow! Ow! Seems a lot doesn't want to fight anymore. Oh god, I need health. Uh, Cinnamon. Oh, oh, oh. Shine, shine. Skip, jump. Ouch! You mother frickin' frickin' bugger! Hey! Stop it! Uh, complimented, I guess. You compliment Final Frogget. Interested you perfectly. It's attack dropped. No, I don't wanna die. Don't wanna die. Don't wanna die. Don't wanna die. Whew! My good grief. Okay, I'll just take the damage and hide in this corner. Okay, so that doesn't work. Mystify? He did something mysterious. Final Frogger recognizes it has more to learn from this world. Thoughtful croak. Okay, this is fine. Ow. It's not fine. Not fine. Not fine. Not fine. Can I please spare them both? Oh, thank God. Get out of my face, please. Okay, item. Good grief, my health is dropping like a stone. Oh, come on! 
What now? Night night and a magic! Well, stare at the orbs. We need to get the magic out of here first. Goodbye. Oh god. Oh, that's not even remotely fair. Okay, it's daytime. The daytime attack, I don't care. It smells like stardust. Cool. Stare. Corner orb. Close your eyes. Alakazam! Okay, oh god. Okay, nighttime one. The nighttime one is a little bit more difficult to dodge. Ooh, baby. Alright. I'm gonna spare magic so he gets out of here. Adieu. Okay, yeah. Thank you for doing this one. Oh gosh. There's more star freaking drops. Okay. okay. Sing the night night so he can go to sleep. Ooh. Okay, now it's the nighttime one. Nighttime one, not too hard. Beep, 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 beep. Come on. Come on, night night. I just need you to go to sleep. Ow. Oh my god, my health. <laughs> Good night. Please. No. 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 Thank you. Come on, go to sleep, you big bugger. Thank you. Whew. Spare. Okay, please. No more monsters. Son of a... Mother effing biscuit. What a nightmare. <laughs> okay, final frog at Mystify. You did something mysterious. Final frog recognizes it. Has more to learn from this world. Don't pick on me. Not this time. Oh god. On the world. Yip! Yip, 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 yip. Okay, let's get rid of that guy. No regrets. Oh god. Okay, this is easier to dodge at the freaking flies. Astigmatism. This relentless bully always gets its way. Oh, so we're supposed to do... He said don't pick on me. So I guess we do the opposite of what he says. You pick on astigmatism. How dare you! No regrets. Oh god. Okay, now Ryan, don't pick on. You don't pick on astigmatism. Finally, someone gets it. Good grief. Oh no. Okay, now whims a lot. Pray. You nearly pray for safety. Whims a lot remembers its conscience. Okay, easy enough to attack. Or easy enough to dodge, and then spare them both. Good. We are out of here. Okay, I pressed the button, what exactly did- Oh, that must have turned off the barrier that I saw earlier. Go, 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 go. Go, Sam! <laughs> God dang it, Sam. You had legs of steel from before. Now make him legs of titanium and move it! Okay, good this place looks weird. Oh, mother of lord. Let's take autism. Okay, so don't pick on. I didn't pick on you. Yep. That was close. There we go. Alright. Through the corridor. Oh, on a safe point, thank god. Behind this door must be the elevator to the king's castle. You're filled with determination. Let's save and hit the road. What's up here? Oh god. Hello, Metaton. Oh yes, there you are, darling. It's time to have our little showdown. It's time to finally stop the malfunctioning robot. Not malfunction. Reprogramming. Get real. This was all just a big show. Please now. An act. Alphys has been playing you for a fool the whole time. As she watched you on the screen, she grew attached to your adventure. She desperately wanted to be a part of it. So she decided to insert herself into your story. She reactivated puzzles, disabled elevators, enlisted me to torment you. All she could do, or she could save you from dangers that didn't exist. So you would think she's the great person, that she's not. And now, it's time for her finest hour. At this very moment, Alphys is waiting outside the room. During our battle, she will interrupt. She will pretend to deactivate me, saving you one final time. Finally, she'll be the heroine of your adventure. You'll regard her so highly, she'll even be able to convince you not to leave. Or not. You see, I've had enough of this predictable charade. I have no desire to harm humans. Far from it, actually. 
My only desire is to entertain. After all, the audiences is a good show, don't they? Hmm, you got a point. And what's a good show without a plot twist? Oh, I hate you so much. Hey, what's going on? The, the door just locked itself. Sorry, folks. The old program's been cancelled. But we've got a fun... <laughs> my voice cracked right there. God dang it, Metaton. You're gonna make me lose my voice yet. But we've got a finale that will drive you wild. Oh, lordy. <laughs> real drama. Real action. Real bloodshed. On our new show, Attack of the Killer Robot. Oh god. Uh, okay, okay. Seriously, his mental body is invulnerable. Yes, I was the one that rearranged the core. I was the one that hired everyone to kill you. That, however, was a short-sighted plan. You know what would be a hundred times better? Killing you myself. That worthless pea shooter won't work on me, darling. Don't you understand what acting is? Oh good god. Listen, darling, I've seen you fight. You're weak. If you can if you continue forward, Asgore will take your soul. And with your soul, Asgore will destroy humanity. Ha! <laughs> Burn him? This is probably what you'll do if things continue in this manner. But if I get your soul, I can't stop I can stop Asgore's plan. I can save humanity from destruction. I you motherfucker. God dang it, I can't do anything else. All I can do is just spare. And using your soul, I'll cross through the barrier and become the star I've always dreamed of being. Hundreds, thousands, no, millions of humans will watch me. Wits, glamour, I'll finally have it all. So what if a few people have to die? That's show business, baby. Uh, uh, I can't see what's going on in there, but th don't give up, okay? But there's one one left, the last way to beat Metaton. It's a, um, it's it's a work in progress, so don't judge it too hard. But you know how Metaton always f faces f f forward? That's because there's a switch on his backside. So so if you you can t t turn him around and um press the, 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 the switch, he'll um he'll be. Vulnerable. Well, g g gotta go. You tell Metaton that there's a mirror behind him. Oh, a mirror. I I have to look for our. I have to look perfect for our grand finale. Hmm, I don't see it. Where is it? Switch. Ha ha. Did you? Just flip. My switch. <laughs> okay. Uh oh. Is it gonna explode? Oh God! Excuse me? Oh God! Oh my! If you flipped my switch, that can only mean one thing: you're desperate for the premiere of my new body. How rude! Lucky for you, I've been aching to show this off for a long time. So, as thanks, I'll give you a handsome reward. I'll make your last living moments. Oh my God! Absolutely beautiful. Oh god, Metaton X makes his premiere. Well, I need health, so I'll just use this. Oh, 300. Ratings. Be the star for the audience of the brand. Okay. Let's camera action. Oh god! Bollocks! Bollocks! Fart, 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 fuck! Uh, what the heck do I do? I pose? Oh. Despite being hurt, you pose dramatically. The audience applauds. I'm the idol everyone craves. Woo, baby. This was like Metaton. What the heck do I do? I see. Despite being wounded, you pose dramatically. The audience gasps. Ooh, baby. What the heck do I do? Boast. You say you aren't going to get hit at all. Ratings gradually increase during Metaton's turn. 
Oh, it's time for a pop quiz. I hope you brought a keyboard. This one's an essay question. Beautiful. Why don't you write a book? Whee! So if you go check for the future for future use. Oh god, I ran out of stuff. I'm at three HP. This isn't good. Dramatic pose. I don't know. The last power you pose dramatically. Audience screams. Show you mine. Oh, mother of pearl! No, 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 no. No! Bollocks! <laughs> Game over. It cannot end now. Sam, stay determined. I'm trying to. <laughs> right now, I'm losing one thing, and that's named patience. Oh, okay, so this goes right directly here. Okay, what I'm going to do is, it seems that Starfay makes the audience happy, I guess. So I'll just stock up with Starfay. I don't like meeting this guy. Bye. Ugh, stop it. Ugh, get me out of here. That guy's creepy. Like, beyond creepy. <laughs> I mean, I've seen creepy things in my lifetime, but I think he takes the cake and eats it. <laughs> Actually, more like, eat the cake and show up his ass. <sighs> yes, 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 bloody, 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 got to get dang blah. I am not ending this episode until I defeat Metaton. Here, I'll just skip this part. Oh, it seems like he... Well, I'm turning around. What will you do? Skip. You told Metaton there was something cool behind him. <laughs> Flip the switch. <laughs> There we go. Let's see here. Bollocks at a freaking head basket! I've already been hit. Okay, I still have a cinnamon, so I can still nom. Whoa, hi, 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 Get hit at all. Ratings gradually increase during my turn. Oh, ah, god dang it, I disappointed them. Nom. Smile for the camera. How about I smile for your death? Ha ah, ah, ha! Ah. God dang it, I still got hit. You'll turn. You turn and scoff at the audience. <laughs> They're rooting for your destruction this turn. Oh, it's time for a pop quiz. I hope you brought a keyboard. There's what? There's this one's an SK question. You love most about Metaton. Beautiful. Sometimes a fierce wit speak the loudest. There. <laughs> just put his style. Just said, shut up. Make sure everyone your heart. Why don't I show you mine? Yeah, I'm able to hit that. Oh god, what the heck did I do? This was like Metaton. I have an idea, let's boost. I'm gonna hit it all. Rating schedule increase. It's like, don't... I don't disappoint this time. Let's do a dramatic pose to top it off. But how are you on the dance floor? Oh god. Oh, I see. Every time I hit that, it changes it over. Haha! -ha! That attack is useful. Let's boast. Here at all. Ratings gradually increase during my turn. Can you keep up the pace? Oh, bollocks! Let's just use the star fey. God dang it. Let's care out bombs! Oh, 
Oh god. Things are blowing up. Oh, whew. Oh my god, Griff, he's dancing faster. Stop it, you're dancing too fast. Time for our reunion for our union regulated break. Happy break time. Oh. Thank God. Oh my god, Griff! Dance on, you're dancing way too fast. Suit dramatic pose. We've grown so distant, darling. How about another heart to heart? Oh god! I blew up his arms! <laughs> this is boast. Arms? Who, who needs arms with the <laughs> who needs arms with legs like these? I'm still going to win. Bollocks in a hand basket! We'll just use this. <laughs> Come on. Oh god, I gotta remember where the heck I hit! God darn it! <sighs> Show must go on. Ooh, that was simple enough. Let's just dramatic pose, get at least a hundred. Your job, action! Ah! Should have boasted during that one. Okay, please don't be a hard one. Or do you just believe in yourself that much? Ah! Dramatic pose, just to freaking top that off. Aha! How inspiring. Well, darling, it's either you or m it's either me or you. But I think we've already know who's going to win. Witness the true power of humanity, star. Oh, bollocks! Aha! Oh god, he's got no legs. I'll just use a star fade to help boost. Because that poor guy. And then, are you the star? Can you really protect humanity? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Freaking. Ah, I see. Thanks for I'm sitting last. Dramatic pose! 300! He posed dramatically. Do another dramatic pose. Oh god. With the last of your power, he you posed dramatically. The audience screams. Oh, look at these ratings. This is the most viewers I've ever had. We've reached the viewer call in milestone. One lucky viewer will have the chance to talk to me before I leave the underground forever. Let's see who calls in first. Hi, you're on TV. What do you have to say on this our last show? Oh, hi, Metaton. I really liked watching your show. My life is pretty boring, but seeing you on the screen brought excitement to my life. Vigorously. I can't tell a voracious or anything, but I guess this is the last episode? I'll miss you, Metaton. Oh, I didn't mean to talk so long. Oh. No, wait, wait, bleh. Hey, they're already hung up. Oh, is that Naps the Blook? I just noticed. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, poor guy. I'll take another color. Metaton, your show made us so happy. Metaton, I don't know what I'll watch without you. Metaton, there's a Metaton shaped hole in my Metaton shaped heart. Ah, ah, I, I see. Everyone, thank you so much. 
darling. Perhaps it might be better if I stay here for a while. Humans already have stars and idols, but monsters, they only have me. If I left the underground, if I left, the underground would lose its spark. I leave an aching void that can never be filled. So, I think I'll have to delay my big debut. Besides, you've proven to be very strong. Perhaps even strong enough to get past Asgore. I'm sure you'll be able to protect humanity. <laughs> it's all for the best anyway. The truth is, this form's energy consumption is inefficient. In a few moments, I'll run out of battery power. Battery power and, well, I'll be alright. Knock him dead, darling. And everyone, thank you. You've been a great audience. Oh god! <laughs> Flashbang! <laughs> Can't see! Hello? Nope, my mouse is on the screen again. Come. Oh. Hi. I managed to open the lock. Are you two? Oh my god. Metaton. Metaton, are you... Thank God, it's just the batteries. <laughs> Metaton, if you were gone, I would have... I would have... Uh, I, I mean, hey, it's uh, no problem, you know? He's just a robot. If you messed it up, I could, could always just, just build another. Why don't you go on ahead? Alright, Alphys, if you insist. And now it's extremely quiet. Oh. So, sorry about that. But let's keep, keep going. So, so you're about to meet Asgore, huh? huh, huh? You must be you, you must be pr pretty excited about all that about all of that, huh? Eh, a wee bit. Yeah, you f finally you'll finally get to go home. What's wrong? Oh dear. W wait. Oh, I mean, um, I, I was just going to, um, say goodbye and. Oh, she's slowly losing. I can't take this anymore. I, I lied to you. A human soul isn't strong enough to get across the barrier alone. It takes at least a human soul, and a monster soul. Well, then I'm dumb, damn fuck, because I couldn't go. Through that freaking barrier with the monster soul, I ain't fighting. If you want to go home, you'll have to take his soul. You'll have to kill Asgore. No, I won't. You can bite me. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh no, Alphys. Can we at least call Papyrus and Undyne and see what's going on? There's no response. Oh dear. Well. Up we go, I guess. <laughs> Get some elevator music. How long is this elevator? Oh, well, that answers my question. Oh, there's something there in the middle. I was paying attention. Oh, oh dear. Castle elevator. Holy crap. The elevator's in use. Oh dear. Oh well. So this is the castle. Good grief. Awfully, uh, monochromatic, if I do say so myself. Looks cool, though. Let's go up here. Forward, Sam! Forward! Forward! Oh. oh. Wait. This looks like Toriel's home. This looks exactly like Toriel's home. What in the world? Oh, there's two gifts. There's a heart-shaped locket inside the box. Will you take it? Mm -hmm. You got the heart-shaped locket. Info. Heart locket. Armor defense 5. It says best friends forever. I'll equip the locket. And how much is the apron? 11. I'll keep the locket. It's because there's two beds in this one. There was only one bed in Toriel's house. There's a worn dagger inside the box. Will you take it? Leave it.
Room under renovations. Oh. Fragments. A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. Hmm? Wait, there's a human before me? Put it on my keychain. It's a trophy. Never one knows Nuzzle Champs 98. It's Asgore's journal. All the current page says it's a nice... All... All the current page says it's a nice day today. The ink is almost wet. It's a bureau. There's a Santa Claus outfit inside. Aw. It's a clothes drawer. There are robes, button-up shirts, and a pink hand-knit sweater that says Mr. Dad Guy. Oh, so Asgore was a father? Well, that would explain a lot with the kids' room, but it has two beds. Oh, oh dear. Asriel, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. Asriel. So that's Asgore's son. Yeah, this looks like Toriel's house, almost. Oh, hello. Multiple. Over time, Asriel and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. So, wait, does that mean that Toriel and Asgore were once together? Well, that would explain Asriel, I mean, Asgore, Toriel, Asriel, kind of a combination of the names. You took the key and put it on your phone's keychain. The fridge is full of unopened containers of snails. Well, I guess they like snails in this family. Oh, I see. That's why I need the two keys. You unlock the chain. Yeah. Oh. Then, one day, the human became very ill. Oh, dear. Well, that's not good. Oh! Vegetoid. The sick human had only one request see the flowers from their village but there was nothing we could do oh dear the next day the next day the human died oh dear that's not good so there's a human before me oh dear Asriel racked with grief absorbed the human soul he transformed into a being with incredible power With the human soul, Asriel crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset. Back to the village of the humans. Oh, so he actually took her back. Her or him. Asriel reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. Golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Asriel holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. No, 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 Asriel didn't kill the child, it died of sickness! <laughs> the humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Asriel had the power to destroy them all. Oh dear. But... Asriel did not fight back. Clutching the human, Asriel smiled and walked away. Wounded, Asriel stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. Oh dear, he died! The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we could shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King Asgore will let us will let us go, will give us hope, will save us all.
You should be smiling, too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? No, quite frankly, this actually makes me sad. The single friggin... You're going to be free. Oh my god. Well, I hate to do this to you guys, but I'm going to leave it off here. Holy crap! So now, we kind of got a little bit of backstory in Tutorial and Asgore. Both of them were, I guess, together at one point, and they had a child. There was a human right before me. And I guess... That's so bizarre. Th to the fact that there was a human basically before me, and everyone seems to... Well, I wouldn't really say everyone recognizes me, but everyone seems to treat me like family. I mean, I guess that would kind of make sense how if there was a human down there before, not every single one would attack me. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and leave this off here, guys. I hope you liked the video. If you did, hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. And then I'll see you all in the next video. Bye! Konnichiwa.